exiled out of that land because we broke the commandments of God. And it is high time that we stand up and come back and serve our God. Read what you got. And hold themselves not guilty. And they hold themselves not guilty. What did, what did Zimmerman do? George Zimmerman murdered that black man in the street because he had Skittles and a hoodie on. And they murdered him, man. And then he said, what? I'm not guilty. I didn't do anything. He hold his hands up and stick out his tongue and say, you ain't going to get me, man. But this is what these heathens do. This is what the devil does to you, man, because you continue to break the commandments of God. It is high time the black man and Hispanic man wake up and come back to the voice of the Lord thy God. Read on. And they that sell them say, uh-huh, blessed be the most high. They so the ones, the same people that sold us, they believe in God, man. They say, blessed be our God. Right? Blessed be our God. After they sold you, after they raped you, after they murdered you, man, what happened to George Floyd? Can you tell me? Right? Do you love your brother, man? Brother, can I ask you a question? With the mask on, right? See, our people don't have time, bro. Our people don't have time, right? Because you don't care about your brother. You count yourself as an individual. You are not an individual, right? I'm fighting the same fight as you. You fighting the same fight as me. So why don't we join hands in unity and fight this system together? All right. Right? So read that from the top. This is the book of Zechariah, chapter 11, and verse 5. Right? Read on. Whose possessors slay them? Whose possessors slay them? Our enemies slay us to this day. Read on. And hold themselves not guilty. And they hold themselves not guilty. They say, look, man, I ain't got nothing to do with that. Right? Yeah, I killed them, so what? But I'm innocent. Keep reading. And, that, and they that sell them say, say what? Blessed be the most high. They say, blessed be our God. Blessed be white Jesus. Blessed be Caesar Borgia, right? That's the God they worship. Keep reading. For I am rich. For I am rich. They say we rich, man, right? How are they rich? Because you worked 400 years for free. You work, you, you're the one who built the White House, man. And then we come out here and do what? We kill our brother. We whore out our sisters. We don't take care of our children, right? You are perpetuating the system that has been placed against you. Give me Lamentations 5 and 7. The book of Lamentations chapter 5 and verse 7, all right? Because your pastor, your Sunday church pastor, your Jehovah Wickedness pastor, right? Your seven-day advantages pastor is not going to come out here and tell you what you need to hear, right? Sister, you got to come back to the voice of the Lord, man. Your God is not a white man. God, God is a black man. Did you know that? Christ died in the blackest way possible. How did Christ die? He did nothing wrong and they hung that man from a tree. Did they not do that to us? Right? And it's sad because a lot of us, they, they talk about black unity. Y'all talk about, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm pro-black. But you ain't really down, man. A lot of y'all are fake woke. A lot of y'all believe y'all know what's going on in America, but you have no idea what's coming. There's fire coming to America for the crimes and iniquities that have been committed against the children of Israel. Read what you got, man. Lamentations 5 and verse 7. This is the book of Lamentations chapter 5 and verse 7. Right, read on. Our fathers have sinned. Our what? Our fathers have sinned. It says our fathers have sinned, man. What is sin? Going against the law. Transgressing against the Heavenly Father. God gave us a, a specific set of laws to abide by, and we broke every single rule. Right? So how much longer are you going to continue living on the bottom of society, man? How much longer are you going to continue shooting down your brother, killing down your brother, right? Selling drugs, smoking drugs, right? Harming your body, defiling your temple. Eating pork, eating shrimp, eating lobster, fornicate, right? How long are you going to continue doing that? You got to come back to the voice of the Lord thy God. Keep reading. And are not. And are not, man. Our father sinned and are not. Meaning what? They're not here anymore. Keep reading. And we have borne their iniquities. We have carried their iniquities. We have carried our forefathers' iniquities, man. Read on. Our fathers, Salakia, servants, have ruled over us. Read that again. Servants have ruled over us. It says servants have ruled over us. Never never in this world was a white man supposed to be uh, uh, over a black man like that. Right? Never in this society, never in this lifetime, never in any of our generations was a white man supposed to be reigning over a black man. Never. But guess what? Because we sinned, because we transgressed against the Lord that God, he flipped everything around. Now you got to walk around and say, George Floyd. Now you got to walk around and say, I can't breathe. Now you got to convince the white man that your life means something, man. Right. Now you got to convince the
system that your life means something. You gotta march in the street for hours in the hot sun and convince them that your life is worth more than a, a dead dog in the street. Right? So you guys gotta get it together, man. Turn your ear and hear the wisdom, hear the knowledge, hear the reproach and the correction, man. The reproof. Keep reading. Right? You know what we're talking about, sister? Did you hear anything we were saying? Look, I gotta, I gotta go. Nah, don't talk to me. I gotta go. Right? I just want some tropical Creole restaurant food. Come on, man. Get your life together. Read again. Servants have ruled over us. Servants have ruled over you. That's why, that's why you gotta serve your, your white CEO. That's why, that's why you don't own any businesses. That's why you can't get anything off the ground by yourself. Because servants ruled over you. And you don't want to turn at the ear to correction, man. Right? I just want to. I just want to drink. I just want. I just want my liquor, man. Right? Right? I just want to get drunk and high out of my mind all day. Right? Keep reading. There is none that doeth deliver us out of their hand. There's none that delivereth us out of their hand. That's why you, when you you look at Malcolm X and Tupac and Marcus Garvey, right? Right? Dubois. What are all these people? All of these people, they tried to save you, and you can't get out of here, man. And that's why a lot of you depressed. A lot of you got anxiety. A lot of you talking about killing yourself, man. Suicidal thoughts. Why? Because you have been placed in a society that don't love you. You have been placed in America. Don't you know that, sister? Let me ask you a question. Don't you know America has never loved you? Right? Don't you know that? Right? You don't got time? You don't got five seconds, sis? I'm going to tell you before you go, repent. Repent and turn back to the Lord. That's what you need to do. And no wearing weed. Yeah, I said it. I said it, right? I'm here to tell you what you need to hear, not what you want to hear, right? What's going on, brother? How you doing? Do you love God? Give me 1 John 5 and 3. You love God? Let me show you something. Let me, let me, you believe in the Bible, right? Let me show you something. How do you love God according to the Bible? Do you know? How did the Bible say it to love God? To what? From your heart? Hold on, brother. Give me five seconds. Let me show you something. One second. Oh, look. They run, man. They run. First John 5 and 3. Read this that. is the book of First John chapter 5, verse 3. Uh -huh. For this is the love of the Most High. For this is the love of God. This is how you love God, man. Read on. That we keep. That we what? That we keep. That we break. That we keep. That we can do whatever we want to do. That we keep. That we can eat pork. That we keep. That we can hold hands with our enemies. That we keep. That we can do whatever we want to do. That we keep. That we keep. Read on. His commandments. That we keep his commandments. Read on. And his commandments are not grievous. And they're not hard to do. It only becomes hard to do when you're trying to mix oil and water, man. Oil and water don't go together. Uh -huh. Dirt and clean don't go together. Uh -huh. Holy and unholy don't go together. So you got to make sure you turn at the voice of the Lord thy God. What's going on, brother? Right? What's going on? Brother, you got five seconds. I see you carrying your food. Right? I see you carrying your food in the rain. You from Fort Myers? You know how to love God? You know how to love? You believe in God, right? So let me show you something about the Bible. Read that again, 1 John 5 and 3. This is the book. I'm going to show you how to love God. Your pastor not teaching you this. Read. This is the book of 1 John chapter 5, verse 3. Read. For this is the love of the Most High. It says this is the love of God. Read on. That we keep. That we what? That we keep. I thought the law was done away with. That we keep. I thought we could do whatever we want to do. That we keep. That we keep. Read on. His commandments. That we keep his commandments. Read on. And his commandments are not grievous. And his commandments are not hard to do. Give me one second. Give me second John 1 and 6. Because all over the Bible it says the same thing. Your church is teaching you that you can break the law. This is why the black man continues to die here in America. That's why George Floyd died. That's why Ayanna Jones died. That's why Sandra Bland died. That's why Trayvon Martin died. That's why Eric Scott died. That's why Walter Scott died. All of these brothers and sisters will continue to die unless you keep the commandments of God. The white man has been sent against us because we went against our voice, the voice of the Lord our God. That's why. But let me show you something. Hold on, brother. I know you got to go read that again. This is the book of 2 John chapter 1 and verse 6. Read on. And this is love. And this is love according to the Bible, according to God. Read on. That we walk after his commandments. That we, it says it again, that we walk after his commandments. Read on. This is the commandment. That as ye have heard from the beginning, so from the very time the earth was created, there was a commandment that the children of Israel, which we are, are supposed to keep. Right? We have been discontinued from our heritage because God said he would do this. Give me Jeremiah 17 and 4. Let me show you another scripture because your pastor is not going to show you this. It said in the last days, I will send servants and prophets to show 
the children of Israel who they are. Because we call ourselves African American. How are we from two continents at the same time? Right? right? We call ourselves black. We call ourselves niggas. We call ourselves Negro. We are none of those things. Where is that in the Bible? There's 18 nations in the Bible. We are the children of Israel. So read what you got. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 17, and verse 4. Read. And thou, even thyself, it says you, even yourself, the children of Israel, read on, shall discontinue. Shall what? Shall discontinue. Shall what? Shall discontinue. Meaning you're going to stop, read on, from thine heritage. The heritage is the law, statutes, and commandments that our forefathers were given. Keep reading. That I gave thee. Uh-huh, keep reading. And I will cause thee to serve thine enemies. Now we're going to get along with everybody. To serve thine enemies. I thought everybody was made equal here in America. To serve thine enemies. That's what we do right now. We serve our enemies, man. That's why we got to work for them. We work for $10. We work for $9. We work for $13 an hour. While Arabs come from across the damn sea and they open up shop for $100,000 a year. These are the curses that the children of Israel will have to go through. Right? Brother, you're supposed to be you're supposed to be in a Lamborghini right now. Son. Right? You're supposed to be in a in a Lambo. You're supposed to be in a Ferrari. Not walking in the rain. These other names, we grew up in this country and we don't have nothing to show for it. We built almost all of these buildings around us. We built the gas station. We built this commercial real estate. We built all of those houses. And what do we have to show? Nothing. We still paying rent, struggling to make ends meet. Our moms at home struggling and crying. Because they can't they can't afford to pay the bills. What you got? Hold on, what you got? Uh, 17 and... Hold on, 17 and... 14. Give me Deuteronomy 28 and 15. Brother, come across the show. Let me talk to you. Let me give you a flyer at least. Can I give you a flyer? All right, brother. All right? Brother, you... I'm going to leave you with this message. Google this when you go home. You are a child of God. You are a Hebrew Israelite, a real Jew. You, where, you, where your father from? America? African American? Huh? Where, where's your father from? Where's your father from? So you will be considered a uh, uh, from the tribe of Judah. You you are from the tribe of Judah. That's a, that's a, a a tribe out of Israel. When we went into slavery, that's where we came from. We went to the west coast of Africa. That's why the Africans sold us to the Europeans. Black men did not sell black men. We are not the same as African people. You understand that? We are not the same. Africans know they're not us. That's why they never came back to America to come get us out of this captivity. Because they know we're not the same people. They call black men in here in America, they call them akata. They call them cotton pickers. Because they know we're not the same people. Right? So when you go home, make sure you Google, be light of Zion. You are a real Jew according to the Bible. You understand? Keep the law, statutes, and commandments and repent, brother. Hallelujah. Right? So we are here to show everybody who they are according to the Bible. Right? Right? We're going to tell the truth whether it hurts you or not. We're going to tell you the truth according to the Bible. What is the truth according to the Bible? Right? Sister, where are you from? Where are you from? I see you shaking. Where are you from? You from here? Are you a so-called white woman? Where, where, are you, where are you Spanish? Where are you from? You said what? You Indian? Native American? Let me talk to you for five seconds. You would, be, you would be considered from the tribe of God according to the Bible. That's right. Don't you see what these white people did to you? Don't you see what they did to your families, your nation of people? They make, they make you live on reservations right now that are in the slums. You live just like us, man. Right? And infested with drugs and all type of wickedness. But why do these things happen? You have to question why. Because you guys live just like us. We are the same people. Right? This happened because we broke the laws of our God. He said all of these things would happen to us if we did these things, right? So you got to learn to keep the law, statutes, and commandments, sis, right? When you drop by, come get a flyer when you get a chance, all right? We are out here to educate. We are out here to educate the people because your pastor has been tricking you, man, right? You agree with that, sister? Sister, you agree with that? Do you believe in Sunday church pastors? You believe in Sunday church? You believe in white Jesus? I know you believe in white Jesus. I know you do, right? So what we got to do, we got to turn to the voice of the Lord our God, man. We got to turn. Give me Ezekiel chapter 16. Ezekiel chapter 16, verse 11. All right? Because nobody going to do this work. Hey, repent and turn back to the voice of the Lord our God, sis. Jesus is not your God. White Jesus is not your God. 
So read what you got, Ezekiel 16 and 11. This is the book of Ezekiel chapter 16, verse 11. Right, read. I deck thee also with the ornaments. So the true Hebrew Israelites, the real Jews, right? Do you know that, sister? Where are you from, Haiti? Haiti, right? How did you guys get to Haiti? How did your people get to Haiti? You don't know? Hold on, give me, hold on, give me Isaiah 1 and 3. Hold on. Hold on, sis, let me show you something. Isaiah 1 and 3. You said you don't know. How old are you? 22, right? After 22 years of living, I'm going to show you who you are according to the Bible. You, you believe in God, right? You go to church, right? Let me show you something. Sunday, you go to church on Sunday? Now, where in the Bible do we go to church on Sunday? Who told us to do that? Nobody. That's not in the Bible. If you give me one scripture, I'll give you $10 right now. That we go to church on Sunday. You can't find it. It's not there. Trust me. Watch. But let me show you something. And I'm not, I'm not trying to get it. I'm just showing you something, right? Give me Isaiah 1 and 3. Watch this. Sis. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 1 and verse 3. Right? Read. The ox knoweth his owner. So the ox is a uh, stubborn animal, but he knows his owner. Right? Read on. And the donkey, his master's crib. And the donkey is a dumb animal, and he know where he lives. Right? Read on. But Israel. But who? But Israel. But who? But Israel. But Israel. Right? But Israel, keep reading, doeth not know. But Israel don't know. The 12 tribes of Israel have been scattered abroad through slavery. Right? You're not African. Right? When I ask people where they're from, you say Haiti. You weren't always living in Haiti. You were brought there as slaves. And then you took over and made it your own. Just like my people are from Jamaica. My people are not Jamaican. We are from the tribe of Benjamin. You would be from the tribe of Levi, thus saith the Most High. Right? That's right? And that's a very special tribe, sis. Yes. Do you know why we went into slavery? Right? Why do we go to slavery? Why did we go? It's in the Bible. I, absolutely, sis. You're asking the right person. Give me Deuteronomy 28 and 15. Because we study this thing day in and day out. Right? Sister, what I'm trying to tell you is that the reason... You know George Floyd, right? You know Breonna Taylor, right? Why did they die like that? Why do black men and black women continue to die like that? Right? I'm going to show you, sis. Don't worry. I'm going to show you. Deuteronomy 28 and verse 15. Watch this. I'm going to show you something. This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. Right? But it shall come to pass. It shall come to pass. Read on. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Right? Read on. To observe, to do all his commandments. This is Moses talking to the children of Israel. He said, if you don't listen to do all the commandments. Read on. And his statutes, which I command thee this day, read on, that all these curses, all these what? All these curses. Is curses a good thing or a bad thing, sis? Is curses a good thing or a bad thing? A curse can never be a good thing. If I curse you right now, I don't mean good for you, right? So read it again. All these curses, read on, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. All these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So jump to verse 47. Right? Verse 47. So when you read the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 15 through 68, it lists all the curses that the real Jews will be going through. Because they say the, the Jews are, are lost right now. Right? They say they don't know who the Jews are. But I'm telling you, we are the real Jews. We are the salt. Without us, this earth would be nothing. Right? I know about Kompa. Right? Kompa music, that's, that's good music right there. I know about the food. I know about Suspoa, Dewey, right? Bunun. I know about all of those, right? So when you look at us, we know that we are special people, right? Keep reading. This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 47. This is one of the curses that God put on us as the children of Israel. Read on. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God, right? With joyfulness. Uh-huh. Verse 48. Salakia. And? Oh, verse 48. 48. Verse 48. Therefore... Shall thou serve thine enemy? You hear that, sis? It says, therefore you shall serve your who? Thine enemy. Your who? Thine enemy. Now, when you got to Haiti, who are you sold unto? The French, right? The so-called white men. So you serve your enemies. Read on. Which the Most High shall send against thee. Which he sent against us. Read on. And hunger. And hunger. When you want food, any type of food. Let me ask you a question. When you want food, where do you go? When you want food, where do you go? What stores? Name some stores. Name me like five stores real quick. Uh-huh. Right? Any store. So what I'm trying to prove to you is the majority of the stores of neighborhoods that we live in, we don't own those. Right? It might be a couple of Haitian restaurants around here. But I'm talking about the majority, right? So when you go to Chick-fil-A, Burger King, right? All of these places, we don't own that stuff. It says you shall serve your enemy in hunger. Read on. 
and in thirst. And when we want water or any type of drinks, where do we have to go? How many bar, How many water companies do the black man own? Name one water company that a black man owns. You can't. I know, you persist. But I'm trying to tell you, you can't just look past these things. You got to pay attention and watch because this is why we've been destroyed. Right? This is why we live like this. Right? Read on. And in nakedness. And in all the clothes. When you, when you look at the back of your clothes, the tags of your clothes, who made those clothes? We didn't make them. They come all the way from Thailand and in China. America. The black man, black woman, we don't distribute clothing like that. Read on. And in want of all things, anything we want, read on. And he shall put a yoke of iron. Now, didn't that happen? Let me show you something, see? Right? Didn't that happen to us? What is that, a yoke of iron? He said he shall put a yoke of iron, read on, upon thy neck. That's what he did to the people in Haiti. That's what he did to the people in Jamaica. That's what he did to the people in America, the black man, read on. Until he have destroyed me. Until he destroyed you. What does that mean? Until you forget your heritage. Forget where you come from. Now you calling yourself Haitian. Now we calling ourselves Jamaican. African American. But that's nowhere in the Bible. You are God's chosen people. The real Jews. You are. Give me Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Let me show you what God told us to be. Right? Because God, they say God made every man equal. But that's not true. And God does not love everybody. God does not love the white man. God does not love the same people that own this store. The Chinese man. The Arab. You said that's not true? Watch this. Sis, have I lied to you tonight? Have I said one lie? What about what? That God don't love everybody? Say less. Second address. Give me second address. Six and verse 54. That's a good question. You believe God love everybody? Y'all believe that? Huh? You sure do. After he raped, robbed, and murdered your foremothers and your forefathers, he loved everybody, right? There's no karma. Give me second address. Six and 54. That's, that, that is a... That's the definition of Stockholm Syndrome. You feel sorry for your oppressor, but let me show you, sis. Bring it out. John 3.16, right? John 3.16, I got you. Hold on, let me prove it first. Watch, I'll show you. I, sis, hold on, hold on, hold on. Sis, sis, we, hold on, sis. I, I will show you. After I pull this verse, I will show you happily. Because that's the main question everybody has we come up against. Does God love everybody? Nobody has an issue when I tell you God shows the people, you don't have a problem. But when I say God don't love the white man, no, no, he loved the white man. Let me show you, sis. I got you. Second Edges 6 and 54. Watch this. This is the book of Second Edges chapter 6 and verse 54. Now listen closely, right? Read. And after these, uh -huh. Adam also, whom thou madest a lord of all thy creatures. So he made Adam the lord of all the creatures. You agree with that, right? Read on. Of him come we all. Of him, of Adam come we all, right? Read on. And, and the people. And the, now listen. And the people, read on. Also whom thou hast chosen. Also that he has chosen. So of him come we all and the people that he has chosen, right? Read on. All this have I spoken before thee. Right? Read on. O most high. Because... Thou madest the world for our sake. Made it for whose sake? For our sake. This is an Israelite talking. He made it for our sakes. Read on. Bro, you got to pay attention. As on, for bro. the other people. Uh -huh. as, well, listen. As for the other people that weren't chosen. Read on. Which also come of Adam. Which also came of Adam. Read on. Thou hast said. That they are what? That they are nothing. No, they are something. They are nothing. I thought God loved everybody. They are nothing. I thought we were all made equal. They are nothing. I thought we should hold hands and sing kumbaya. They are nothing. I thought we should forgive them for slavery. They are nothing. God said that the other people that are not Israelites, they are nothing. Read on. But be like unto spittle. They're like what? Be like unto spittle. You know what spittle is? Spittle is something that comes out of your mouth when you're talking. It says they are like spittle. But let me get more verses for you. Give me Amos chapter 3 and verse.